everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 This is actually a working kitchen. This is not a prop. She is actually cooking something. <laughs> Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everybody. Dr. Willie Jolly. And, and this is Dee. Taylor Jolly. And we are glad to have you as our guests here this evening. Uh, we're going to, we're just getting in from where? Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to all the people we met, greeted, and talked to while we were in Atlanta. Thank you. Uh, Sharon Fanto and her husband, Brian And Smith. then two beautiful children. Alexa. And Emerson. And Emerson. We had dinner with them yesterday. Uh, had a great time in Atlanta. I want to thank Les Brown. Les Brown did a Facebook Live uh, program on his Facebook channel. And... Uh, about a hundred thousand people watched it. He called me today and said, "Man, what an unimaginable number." We're going to get there, so <laughs> we're thankful. But we need you to tell Lottie, Dottie, and everybody about what we're doing here on Monday nights at nine o'clock, and to tell them to subscribe. Mark Downs told me to do that. I see you, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. He told me to make sure and send me all the little love things, the little smiley faces, and. Uh, uh, share this. We want lots of people to join us. So we want to thank Les. When he put it on, over 100,000 people uh, joined on, and many have already ordered books. We had uh, we had a tremendous um, day of, of, say, of signing books today, of marriage book, because of the people who watched us on Les Brown's broadcast. So thank you, Les Brown. And we're going to tag you on this so you can continue to share this. We were very grateful for all of you who uh, sent us nice notes about Thanksgiving. For those who are first-timers, we want to let you know who we are, what we do. I am Dr. Willie Jolly, and this is D. Taylor Jolly, my beautiful bride. And we are the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. And we now have the audio book version that's available. Seven CDs. Seven CDs read by the, the two of us. The two of us, the yes. authors. Okay. So we did it ourselves. We recorded it and produced it. And then we've got the Jolly Seminar on CD, two, C, two CDs. Seminar we did at Grace Church. It says this engaging live presentation was recorded at Grace Church in Dumfries, Virginia, taken from the powerful relationship book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last. Uh, D. Jolly and Willie, D Dr. Willie Jolly to share straightforward lessons that I've learned over 30 plus years of marriage and it's straight no chaser. This is we don't, this is straight no chaser. And then the workbook. You can get all the above at jollymarriage.com and you can get it now in a digital form and so we're grateful for that. Thank y'all for all your sharing this. Keep sharing it. We want to get hundreds of thousands of views like Les had. Now, Topic for tonight. Topic for tonight. I sent out a tweet. You know, some of y'all might have got it. Is the fact that holidays are times when marriages have added stress. Join us tonight for Happily Married Money with the Jollies as we help you lighten up and not tighten up during these holidays in your relationships. So, a lot of stress comes in the holiday time. People are why well a number of reasons one of the reasons people have stress during holidays is finances then if you don't wait why is it that you have stress due to finances because you're buying stuff that you don't have money for uh oh now well, you know what i think about that because we have two different views we have a different views about everything about holidays and it's been going on like this since we met since we met <laughs> My wife is of the mindset that... We had been talking, I wouldn't say really dating, because we started in September, of course, November, December, 
And I said, please don't get me anything. That don't get me anything. Nothing. Because I was thinking, I don't even think this is going to last. So I certainly don't want to have to invest any money in this relationship. Woo, did you hear what you that just said? Oh, did y'all make sure you... And I think, I think make sure you that there are a lot that. of people that can relate to that. You know, Christmas is coming. You haven't been dating anybody that long. You're like, oh, and I'm like, oh, please don't get me anything. That's not necessary. We don't have our relationship is not like that yet. We're not there. Correct. Well, we weren't there. We weren't there. But I was going to get you something because I'm trying to. That's because influence. A difference of opinion and basically a lifestyle of you want to buy a gift for everything and you want to spend a dollar on the gift. Talk about going to the dollar store. On Christmas Eve. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Now, then, after we get married, we talk about after we get married and your perspective on Christmas. I don't want a surprise gift. And don't. why is that? Well, why is that? Okay, now, this is, is that? I don't want a surprise gift because I want something that I would really use or appreciate. And if I don't tell you what that is, how are you going to know? Commun I don't believe in the guessing thing, which says communicate with me. Let me communicate with you. Let me tell you what it is that I would like. Not that I really need anything. I don't think any of us really need anything. What would you like? So we compromise because he's saying, I want to be surprised. Oh. So we got you know, two different got to mindsets. Try to, try to figure I, I, out I, how I, to surprise him. I don't know how to do that. So we came up with <laughs> give me three options. Here's a price range <laughs> that we'll stay within. And here are three options. This is, we've been married for 30 <laughs> years. No, we've been married 35. for 35 years. 35 years. And we still have the same conversation every holiday. I bet you there are other people. But, ho, 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 let me tell you. the same kind of situation. Hold on, let me tell you. Hold on a second. What I want to say is notice we have the conversation, which is what we want to get to y'all about communication. People assume. About you should, everything, even you should, you should know what I wanted. You should know. So my wife is not of that mindset. Here you can, here's how you can surprise me. Here are the three options. Surprise me with one of the three. That, and you know what? I remember buying her some perfume one year. I don't like perfume. And she said, I don't like perfume. I don't like perfume. Because the smell changes once I put it on or I get upset or something and my, my body chemistry changes. The smell changes and I don't like it. So, so she said, soap and water is the best thing. <laughs> so she said, <laughs> she said, don't do that again. And we had a conversation and my feelings were not hurt. Because we communicate. One of the secrets to our relationship and not arguing and not having drama and a no drama zone is communication. Chat. It's making sure that he understands exactly what I'm feeling and exactly what I want or don't want. That's correct. And she makes it clear. No Even surprise. though his perspective on it is very different than mine. I respect it. That's how we came up with, okay, you can surprise me with one of these three options. <laughs> That's how it rolled. But we talked about it. And she, time. And, she, and she told me, without trying to hurt my feelings, I don't like when you do that. I don't like that when you buy me a surprise. Now, you know, a lot, a lot of folks are into big surprises. She's not into that. And because so, I have to work too hard to try to figure out, well, what do you, what do you want? What do you like? So, surprise. But I didn't like that surprise. Right. That's terrible. So After and, you've invested time, energy, and money, and then I have to keep it and not use it, or you would say, well, when are you going to wear so-and-so? Well, I don't really like it. That, that's not how we want to be. All right, so that's, that's part of, of this whole holidays thing, is talking. We want you to communicate so people's feelings don't get hurt uh, during this holiday season. Now, the other, I'm the other extreme. I want to have a surprise on Christmas morning. So you're going to get a surprise of one of the three options that you told me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to open the gift like I was a little boy. When I was a little boy, I couldn't wait till Christmas morning. I couldn't. Well, I was. Ooh, ooh. So he's going to be surprised by one of the three options that he has given me. 
and then I can go search for one in three options so I know that I have given him something that he really wanted. Right, right. Now that's how we deal with it. How do you guys deal with it? How do you deal with it? Do you do you take the, the uh, you get a, a, a sweater or, or a tie? Right. Or do you set a budget? Do you have a budget of this is how much oh, money you know, we, we will spend oh, on each oh, other for Christmas oh, so oh, you don't go knee deep in debt? Oh, 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 there was a family. We got one of our, uh, um, a, a year ago, uh, the husband bought this out, this huge gift for the wife and she bought him a little teeny weeny gift and he was teed off. He was pissed. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me. I'm not, I won't call names, but it was, it was an issue where they had not had this conversation. He was mad. She was like, ah. and so it had drama. Because they did not discuss what gift giving should look and, like for them. Right, and then that led to there was some issues in the bedroom. That. Yeah, well, they were upset. Right. When you're upset, see, all of this stuff creates all sorts of drama that's not necessary in your relationship. Many marriages, as we've been telling people, many marriages have a little crack, just a little crack that, that's not dealt with in for long. And that dealt with means to discuss it, to talk about to it. Discuss it, talk about it. This is an Talk issue. Talk about that which is uncomfortable. Yep. So you have to find a way. So how do you have an uncomfortable conversation? We're going to beat this into your head. You know, let me give you a story. There was a pastor who gave a sermon the first Sunday of the month. The next Sunday he came to church and he gave it a sermon. It was the exact same sermon he had given the first Sunday. The third Sunday he came and gave the exact same sermon he had given the first and second Sunday. The fourth Sunday, he did the exact same sermon, and then the deacons, and everybody says, he's losing his mind? Is he, is he, is he got a memory issue? What's wrong? So he said, Pastor, why you keep giving us the exact same sermon? He said, I'm going to keep doing it till you change. That you, I see impact. And the impact is because of your, your behavior change. So, I said it to say, we're going to give you these four points that are going to impact your communication and your relationships. Right out of the book, four points that are the four F's for creating uh, results and having difficult conversation. First, there are going to be times you have to have a difficult conversation. We had to have a difficult conversation. She said to me, I don't like perfume. I don't like the perfume. I don't like what you got. But that was after he oh, brought it. I know we after had not had any that conversation. conversation. We had to learn how to have these conversations. This has been what over twenty five years. Ago. Oh my goodness! This oh, my thirty, 30 years, years ago. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you know when I did, you know, it was, I bought her some perfume. She said, "So we had we these we established the four friendly, not hostile, not mad. Because when you're mad, hostile, you start off. People put up defense mechanisms." So friendly, start off friendly. Then Frank, tell the truth. This is how it made me feel. She said, I don't, I don't really like perfume. I don't like Because it changes and it smells weird on me. Yeah, she said, that's, that's a, I got my own way of having my own cologne kind of thing working. And so be friendly, be frank, then be fair. Oh, there's, a, there's my buddy, my sonny. Well, you want me to cut open it? Okay. No, he's coming around the other way. All right. Okay. So be, this is a working kitchen, folks. This oh, is on. Be friendly. Be frank. This is how you made me feel. Be fair. Listen. I listened to her. I said, okay. She said, don't do surprises. Don't do no surprise birthday parties. Don't do, she said, I don't do that well. So, um, so that was it. So be friendly. Be frank. Be fair. And then finally be focused on a positive result. Okay, so what can we do? That's how we came up with, give me some options so I can be at least in the ballpark. Right. Right? Right. So what we, came, we, came, we came up with a way to do it. I, we, we write out three things that we would like, mm -hmm. and, we give, and then we get surprised from that. I mm -hmm. get surprised from that. 
as well as what the budget. What is the budget? The goal yeah. is to not go in Don't debt. go in debt for Christmas. Because January is going to come and you're going to have to pay the bill. Don't go in debt. Don't, don't, you know, some people go in debt at Christmas time. It takes them all year long to pay off that credit card bill. That's so, what we recommend you do is you set a budget. We set a budget for Christmas for what we're going to spend for the whole family. Then the other thing we do, we give books. We have been doing this for years, haven't we? We give resources, things to help you improve. We give books that have impacted us or books. We give some of my books sometimes to people who we know need to be encouraged. I used to give subscriptions too. It's kind of changed now with everything online. Yeah, but we, we but get books. Subscriptions, we yes. Get, we gave family magazine members. Magazine subscriptions too. Um, mm -hmm. uh, particularly um, investment magazine subscription. That's what she would do. For, um, different, or health. Or health. Or, 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 uh, financial or investment or health. Mm -hmm. And then we'd give books that we felt were blessed us, we'd want to bless others. So rather than something that was superfluous. Oh, like, how you like, I am so impressed How you with like you. that That's word? That's a fancy word. Something that was superfluous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that we gave something that we thought would be meaningful and impactful. So one lady one year bought 20 copies of a setback and setup for a comeback. My book, A Setback and Setup for a Comeback, for all her family members. Because mm. she said, we've had a tough year. Mm. Uh, someone else bought uh, Chicken Soup for the Christian Soul because they had lost one of their loved ones. Mm. And they gave everybody that book with the CD. So, of course, we want you to get... The uh, well, resources you can go, who back, was yesterday, you can go uh, back to. Even Sharon said, she said she would maybe give this to some of the people in her network. Some of the couples. Some of the couples who she knows are having some challenges. So get or to just improve the relationship. Or just the to bless them. resources, you can always go back to them. That's right. You can pull them off the shelf. Say, oh, what did they say in this? Exactly. Chapter number, we need help here. Exactly. Agree about disagreeing. How do we disagree without being disagreeable? And how do we disagree without uh, saying something? You know, words are like toothpaste. Once it's out of the tube, can't put it back in. So... How do you do that? Get the All book. right, so go back. Okay. So you, your suggestions for the holiday is to communicate. What communicate. Is that Talk Decide to each other. Budget. Decide on a budget. Decide on rather than guessing what somebody Ask. wants. Ask. Now, I know you want to surprise them. Say, well, give me a couple mm -hmm. options. Give me a few things that you would really like. I bought you some with Uggs the one time, didn't I? Let me tell you oh. how my wife works. We went to the Ugg store. She loves Uggs. My wife is the Ugg girl. I have a couple of pairs of Uggs. A couple? Honey, yes. Oh, like a, about like no. a bunch. Anyway, we went to the Ugg store. She looked at the Uggs. She went to the, to the, to the um, counter to pay for it. She put out a credit card, and I beat it to it. I said, Happy, Merry Christmas. That was sweet. I wasn't expecting that. Nice Uggs. Boots. And was she was sweet. happy. Yes. Yes. So she we, was happy. So she we got to stay out of there. Communicate as to what what each other might want. Yep. Set a budget limit yep. for that. Okay. Yep. And then anything else, take time for yourself. Yeah, take time don't, for yourself. Don't be stressed out. Don't, 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 don't add to the stress with drama. Very important not to and add drama to a very stressful time anyway. People are, are fighting over parking spaces. People are fighting over gifts. They're running through stores, beating each other up. That's all sorts of drama. Let's talk about dinner, the mm. family dinner. Mm. It's one thing that when you talk about holiday time, the getting together and, and not being stressed by having to sit or have conversations with family members where you might not be that excited about being with them. How do you handle that? And difficult conversations during dinner. Well, do you want to have a difficult conversation during dinner? Particularly though, <laughs> who have political. different okay, political, political perspectives that are different. We changed the subject. Yeah, we, we, we were at a meal the other day and a political conversation, it was everybody said, ah, stop. Put the brakes on. Let's not go there. Let's not even go down that path. And and before it became a problem, it was it was over. 
And that was wise of everybody. I thought that was very wise. So we encourage you to understand that this is a stressful time that we want you to use those communication skills. And then we want you to talk about things. If something's problematic, do, do talk about it. We also saw people who did not, who went to bed angry and it festered. And we want to say this over and over again. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. That's biblical. And the reason that the Bible speaks so highly, because the Bible is a book of wisdom, it says, don't go to bed mad. Every married couple we've interviewed who has been married 40, 50, 60, and over the 170 years say the same thing. Don't, don't go to bed angry. Fix it before you go to sleep. And so we want you to get into habits, some systems that will help you in your marriage. Marriage is about working through the challenges and using systems that are proven over time to work to help you to keep from having drama. So, for example, if you're in, have an interesting family. Yep. And sometimes there's a challenge as to whose house you're going to go to for dinner. Yep. Mm -hmm. His house, his family versus your family. How do you decide that? You have to discuss that ahead of time. And that's, again, communication, talking about everything. Or well, maybe you have to go to two. So you have to decide how long you're going to stay. And someone did that. Someone said they did that. Uh, one couple I heard, they went, they went Thanksgiving Day to his family. And then they had early dinner. And her family was three hours away. And they went, drove three hours for late dinner with her family. Wow. So it was. That's, that's a great, that's major keeping of the peace. Keep it, or going to Christmas one, Thanksgiving the other. Or just have it at your house and have everybody come to you. Or have everybody come to you. But it's, it's, it, it's about being flexible and being willing to try or to develop some new traditions. And we had traditions when, when your mom and dad were alive and my mom and was alive. And your mother was alive. We would, mom and I would go to her parents for Thanksgiving and have a big Thanksgiving. And then often we go there for Christmas too. I can't remember Christmas. No, no yeah. Christmas they, we, they come here. Sometimes they, mm, no, we'd yeah. have Christmas here. You would have Christmas here. And then we, sometimes your mother would do, because your mother didn't cook. So we'd all go out oh, for we Thanksgiving. Went for, no, so we, no not for Thanksgiving, go. for Christmas. Oh. We went out for Christmas. We went out for Christmas dinner to the uh, uh, the big, big buffet. I mean, mm -hmm. the big, at, at a hotel. At a hotel. Mm -hmm. That's right. It was Christmas. It was family, and she paid for everything. Yes. So it's special. Really nice. Great way to get together. My mom was mom was the sweetest woman I ever met. So that's the truth. All right. So happily married Monday is about helping you. And I wanted. There's one point I wanted to bring out to everybody. I thought about it this morning. Oh, by the way, we've had quite a day. Got in from Atlanta about 12.30 a.m. in the morning. First of all, plane was a little late. Second, they went to the gate and said, go to gate six. And then they changed the gate. Yes. Right? While they were doing changing the gate, it looked like it was going to be it's gonna be a while. You went to get the car. I said, I'll go get the car. And William and I got the luggage. And you and my son, William, got the luggage. Well, I got to the car, get out of the shuttle, go up the elevator to the car, and I walked a few steps where I parked Grape Spot, and I said, oh no, flat tire. Now, I've been traveling for 30 plus years, never had a flat tire, ever. Now, we had two o'clock now in the morning almost two o'clock it's about 1 30 right. and I'm looking at a flat tire okay so I, I call, don't have a spare you do have a spare have it's a up spare. under the car oh, okay okay well, and we, remember when we had to change the tire in Durham how difficult the, the, the three aid man couldn't even change couldn't even figure out the spare mm. it's a this is this uh, so I knew that wasn't gonna work 
So I called for help, and finally they came, and we got the tire. And they were like 45 minutes later. 45 minutes, I come around, pick them up. So we got home at 3 a.m., and we had a full day of activities. So we're both a little tired, but, you know, we're grateful. We had a wonderful time in uh, Atlanta. I want well, to give Regis's it. Regis's for dinner, when, Thanksgiving dinner. The what? Regis's. Regis's, my <laughs> niece. I had had to take a minute. Uh, my niece Rashida Regis and her husband Gino Regis had a beautiful spread, a tent. Uh, it looked like a, 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 looked like wedding, a wedding, reception. wedding reception. With charge, gold charger plates, just the whole thing. They went all in. It was with name, name plates and name spaces, and we had also we had name cards. Next day. Uh, Dinner for my uh, birthday dinner for my niece, Tulani, and then the next day uh, we had a birthday uh, bowling for my ten year old great nephew, CJ, and then had a pizza party for him, and then we went to a wedding of my son's best friend from law school or lawyer friend and his beautiful new bride. They live in Los Angeles and own Chip Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous wedding. And then Sunday we played with Sharon Fanto and Brian Smith. So we, we had a wonderful time. So what we felt, we ought to, our, our life is like one big date. We ought to date every day. And we were talking to Brian yesterday about how important it is to make the decision to work through the challenges. Uh, and, and, and work through the challenges and, and find a person that you love being around. Friends first. We talked about friends first. And he asked a profound question. Brian, he said, well, what happens? You know, we have couples who are not friends. And they get married because somebody looked good or somebody drove a good car or somebody had some money. But they're not friends. What happens then? And you've got to work on the friendship. Well, you can't become friends if you want to. You can't. Everything is, is, is a decision. Friends first. And maybe they. Okay, I won't go there. Friends first. Chapter number one. It's you not can a lack work of love. At becoming friends. It's if not a, you are not friends. It's not a lack of love, but a lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. Frederick Nietzsche, right out the book. So you need to, to, to remember what brought if what brought you together. Yep. So if, if it was a matter of the exterior, it has to be something else. If this, that brought you together, then it might not keep you together, but it can get you started along the path. Our pastor, John K. Jenkins Sr., and his wife of over 35 years, Trina Jenkins, shared that one of their recommendations is to enter in your spouse's world. Do things your spouse likes to do. Talk about what they want to talk about. Go where they like to go. Try new experiences. He shares how he learned to like HGTV, HGTV because his wife likes HGTV. He sat and watched it with her and learned to like it. And she learned to enjoy flying because he is a pilot and loves to fly. Mm -hmm. He entered into her world, she entered into his world, and then they learned new experiences that they entered into each other's world together and learned some new things. As a result, they continued to grow as friends and marriage partners. We highly recommend you take time to Befriend your spouse. If y'all are not friends, you got married for whatever reason. You have to decide to do that. You have to decide. One more thing. One more thing. One more okay. thing. At the hotel, we say we got to give a shout out to the Renaissance Waverly Hotel okay. in Atlanta. Y'all want a fabulous in Smyrna. In Smyrna, you want a fabulous hotel for a convention or fantastic. Oh, it was customer fantastic. service. Great service, and I want to thank a great thank out a shout out to. Gary Hughes, the general manager there, for being so kind and hospitable. Great concierge lounge, great spa, great gym, great sauna, steam room, just fabulous. Well, there was an Indian wedding being wow. taking place while we Three were there. Three days. Three days. It was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And here's what we, we talked to a couple of the people there. Remember that often those marriages are arranged that the parents choose who you're going to marry because they said, we know you better than you know yourself. We've known you since you before you were born. We've loved you. We know your personality. 
we will find the right person. And so, in the book, we talk about the fact that the difference between Western marriages and Eastern marriages. We live in the West. In the Western part of the world, America, London, and England, and France, the divorce rate is 50%. 50 the divorce rate for Eastern marriages, Indian marriages, which, where they are arranged often, is less than 5%. And arranged means you don't net, you don't really you don't get to know your spouse until after you get, you get, and get married. married. So they say when we have our friends, the uh, Alwanis. Alwanis, who were arranged and they are best friends. They've been married almost fifty years. Mm -hmm. They said the difference they between they live in Saint Martin. Saint Martin. They said the difference between y'all, the Westerners, and the Easterners is you start off hot. Woo! She looks so good. Woo! And over time, you cool off. We start off cool, and over time, we warm up. Mm. But you know what? That's because they're studying each other. They're, they're learning le each other. They're, they're in t they're, they have they're intentional. intentional. That's right. It's intentional That's right. to learn. Now we're together. How are we going to make this work? That's right. That's right. So I want you to encourage everybody. Our time is up to look at the interview we did with Les Brown on his Facebook Live. It's on our Facebook page. Not the one we did the first one, the one we did second one with him that we reposted. Because the first one we could just, you know, just we just said hi and the, but he interviewed us. Does I told it have a title? I don't know or if that's we'll, we'll find it. It's right. too hard to try to And explore. I told the story of how I got her to say yes after she said no, 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 no for a long time. How I caught her in a weak mode by selling her on the potential. That's thirty five years ago. Our time is up. Go to jollymarriage.com, get the book, get it for Christmas, get it for Christmas gifts. Do it now. I think this week you get, if you do Cyber Monday, you get some Are deal. Are some special deals yeah, between now and Christmas? We'll make a special deal. We, we should do that. We'll do a special deal for couples. Uh, Y'all keep we'll, As gifts to save and you, enhance marriages of get, friends. If you get Let's talk, no, X don't. now, you get a one free or something. I'll work I, on it. Hey, get the <laughs> book, audio book. Seminar and workbook. Jollymarriage.com. You can also get the book at Amazon, but we recommend Jolly Marriage, so we'll sign it. Have a great day. Remember, your best is yet to come. Jolly out. Jolly out.